they brought her in. Like, she was... Pro- Alright, let me give you the backstory. For those who never watch wrestling, I highly recommend watching the YouTube videos of it, because this is just pure dog shit. She ends up joining Impact Wrestling. She gets involved in this storyline with a wrestler named Bully Ray, who, I am not kidding you, every time he comes out to ring, the first thing he says, Do you know who I am? I always want to be like, No, I don't know who the fuck you are. <laughs> Literally, he says that so obnoxiously, like, do you know who I am? And it's like, I just want to be like, can Jeff Jarrett just come out here every time and just hit him in the head with a guitar? It's like, first off, you went from Bubba Ray Dudley to Brother Ray (laughs) to Bully Ray. (laughs) And... And like he had like an ECW, he had like this stuttering accent, you know, the stuttering voice, like I'm bu- 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 Ray. And It's like I miss that. <laughs> I know most people are like, hey, politically correct, man. But anyway, she gets involved with this bully Ray, and mind you, he lost a lot of weight. He was like a big fat dude, and he like lost a ton of weight, which I'm happy for him because you know he's you know. He's a cool dude you know, on Twitter. Very funny dude. God bless him. And he what was it? He got he he was he ended up being like this you know good guy. Then he was like secretly a bad guy, and it's like shh, nobody knows it, but everybody knows it. <laughs> so he ends up getting involved with her. Then he you know. They're feuding with this biker group called Aces and Eights. Get it? Aces and Eights. Dead man's hand. So, he keeps saying to Hulk, trust me, trust me, brother. (laughs) Which is kind of stupid. And even it got to the point where Sting, who was in that company, was in a promo between him, Hulk, and Brooke. And Sting is just standing there going like, Why am I here? (laughs) Why am I in this company? (laughs) Why am I in this promo? Why did I even have to come here? (laughs) And he's just standing there. Sting, God bless him, is just standing there. Looking at the fans. Looking at Hogan, looking back at the fans, just standing there going like, I, I'd rather be in the back than being out here. So, Sting had to team up with this guy. Sting carried most of the match. And Bully Ray, I don't even know why I'm telling this year-long storyline, <laughs> ends up getting a title match. Shocker, everybody. He becomes a bad guy. He joins Aces and Eights. Shocker. And I remember sitting there watching this going, I knew this was going to happen. I saw this coming a mile away. So, <laughs> he ends up joining Aces and Eights. And I remember they did this huge fucking episode. Which was like a waste of money. Of this dude going, I did this. I had a plan. I screwed Brooke. And I screwed Hulk. And the way he said it was like, ew. (laughs) The (laughs) The way he said it was like, ew. Ugh. It was just the stupidest episode. And it's like, it's hard to believe they tried to compete with WWE. I bet it got to the point where Vince McMahon just sat there like, (laughs) this is stupid. (laughs) So, let's get back to the shit music. In case it didn't show, oh, some say love and friends, they don't mix, but I hate the way that I feel. Singing you makes me feel, singing you makes me 
What the fuck? <laughs> Did he just hit a high note? <laughs> Let's back that up. Did he just... Did he just hit a high note? She can't... She can't even hit a high note herself. Oh my god. <laughs> what? What the? What the fuck? He just hit a high note. This is just, this is awful. This is just awful music. I know somewhere Hogan's like, Hulk Hogan's probably watching this crying. Going, I lost all that money to that bitch of an ex-wife, and I lost all my money to my daughter and her feminine guitar playing $10,000 jeans wearing singer guitarist what am I doing in life <laughs> I feel sorry for Hogan like I, I never liked Hulk Hogan but but watching this and hearing about his divorce and Stitch just woke up from his snap by the way everybody I feel sorry for Hulk Hogan <laughs> he's probably somewhere crying Going like, I lift Andre the Giant, slammed him down, made a buckload of money in WCW, came back to WWE for a good run, and now this. <laughs> I feel sorry for Hogan, because this is just awful, like, I, I feel horrible for him. So, are you okay over there, Stitch? But anyway. $10,000 jeans is because he's humble, laugh out loud. This is just awful music. I ain't felt this way in a minute. Hey, you and me, are you with it? Yes, cause you know I got eyes for you. And you know that I'd ride for you. And I know you won't. His jeans is sparkling. arms are bigger than you. <laughs> this, I cannot listen to this. This is just awful. The album cover is awful. The reporter dude is trying not to, the woman is like smiling, like ready to burst out in a laughter. This is just this awful music. And she talks about her dad's divorce and her mom dating her dating an eighteen year old dude. Anyway, this is just awful music. Just pure awful music. Just just awful. Awful music. I didn't even know Meatloaf is still singing to this day. That just surprises me. Anyway. Should we get to the f one aspect of the show I really like? Okay. Oh, I read the story already. I wish they had an update on the uh, campground story. <laughs> oh my god. Stupid crimes. A Florida woman assaulted a Florida woman assaulted her wife after discovering 
discovering the victim sleeping in her spot of the bed. <laughs> what the? Oh my god. People fight over the spot in the bed. Well, that's how I feel with my cat. <laughs> So, <coughs> so anyway, <laughs> so anyway, what did you think of the music, y'all? Do y'all did y'all make it? I know, right? Music is just that is just not music. That is just pure awful stuff right there. Hey, yo. (laughs) Anyway. Anyway, anyway. Duo busted for observing what? Operation, uh, sorry. Observation wheel sex. What? Couple nabbed after joining three half mile club. Oh my god. (laughs) <laughs> this is just crazy. Anyway. Let's check the messages. One listener, please do not make us suffer through that again. <laughs> so anyway, folks. Going to be wrapping up the show pretty soon. Um, tomorrow's episode will happen tomorrow. So I'm kind of bummed out by one thing. I have to look something up real quick. I'm trying to figure out what I'm trying to remember what it was. I was going to look up. Kind of weird though. You know how something just Skips your mind. That always annoys me. That always annoys me right there. Hmm. So anyway. I love your show. Aw, thank you. Oh, this came in from about Telltale. Former employees of the original Telltale team are skeptical of LCG's approach of the relaunch of Telltale. Considering that the offering of only freelance work while while in San Francisco, which has one of the highest cost of living in the country, is risky. And others urge LCG to pay off existing Telltale debt to its former employees while others have called the called for a boycott of any game that comes out of the new Telltale. <clears throat> it kind of doesn't surprise me, because I don't even know why they want to go to San Francisco to put headquarters there. San Francisco is very in a very bad place. <clears throat> and I know some people are like, you know, San Francisco is a great place, but it's like, Here's the thing about it, like, San Francisco has a lot, a lot of problems there. I mean, besides people shitting on sidewalks. I mean, there's the homeless population, there's high cost of living. I mean, people can't afford to live there. And I don't even know why they want to move it there, but the thing is, I, I hope that Telltale will do something better instead of offering old staff freelance roles. Instead, just give them what they want, like a decent job in a very 